The number of flu cases in North Texas is going up fast. Late last week, there were 700 cases, but as of yesterday, look at that. That number has grown to more than 1,800 confirmed cases. CBS 11 Steve Pickett is following the latest this morning for us. Steve? Tracy, not only are county health authorities and hospitals detailing those rising flu cases you just mentioned, but also focusing on the severity of the illness it is bringing to so many people. Dallas's Medical City Hospital, for example, already reporting seeing a huge increase in flu cases, they tell us, as of last week, seven times the number they saw just two weeks ago. Dallas County Health Authorities also reporting more than 100 people admitted to hospitals as a result of the physical impact the virus is having on individuals. 60 people, 60 over the past two weeks, treated in ICU. All kinds of problems with this virus right now. And yes, the death toll is also rising. Denton County Health Department reporting on Monday their first flu associated deaths. Two people confirmed dead from flu associated illnesses in Denton County. One of them, a youngster from Carrollton who attended a Louisville charter school. And Dallas County officials say 17 flu related deaths. That is their number as of today. The message being spread over and over again. You've heard this, folks, so many times over the past month or so. They, an appeal to get a flu vaccination. That is the key. You will hear it again today within the hour. Medical City holding a press conference. Here's also, however, some good news from Tarrant County Health Department. They say they see no indication of an outbreak within Tarrant County schools of the flu. Part of this may be because a lot of this is happening when school was out. Youngsters now getting back to those campuses, and we may start to see those numbers rise as well. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News. Gosh, reminders, wash those hands frequently throughout the day.